Hello and welcome here. Tom Cruise has been connected to a number of legendary films and performances, yet he has never managed to appear in a superhero movie. With a planned movie adaptation of the Wildcats comic book series by Jim Lee, this was almost modified, though. Although it would have been perfectly up the actor's espionage and action-oriented alley, sadly, this movie was never made. So what was Wildstorm's Sleeper comic book about? Sleeper was a 2003-2005 series from Wildstorm Comics that was written and illustrated by regular collaborators Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, the former of whom would later create a renowned espionage thriller run on Captain America. It was related to events that spun off of Wildcats, which was essentially the major Wildstorm book, and was set in the Wildstorm universe. Sleeper mainly avoided most superhero cliches and cliches in favor of being a spy and espionage thriller with a noir tint, even if it and other titles were grim spins on the superhero genre. In the narrative, a new character named Holden Carver possessed superhuman healing abilities and the inability to feel pain as a result of contact with an extraterrestrial artifact. Despite the fact that they would help him in his role as a double agent, he would abhor the sensory disturbances that these skills would give him and fervently seek to get rid of them. And Tom Cruise almost made a sleeper movie with a Spider-Man movie director. A Warner Brothers sleeper movie was announced to be in production in 2008. This both made sense and didn't, given where superhero and comic book movies were at the time. For instance, the current avalanche of superhero films hadn't started yet, with just a few of B-list characters and properties getting their own movies. The top four characters were still Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, and the X-Men, albeit Superman was no longer as well-known as he once was as a result of Superman Returns' failure to have an impact on popular culture. At the same time, the popularity of the genre will rise again thanks to the first Iron Man movie and notably The Dark Knight. There was a drive for more realistic, less spectacular superhero storytelling with both the Christopher Nolan Batman movies and the X-Men series. Due to this pattern, the Watchmen movie from 2009 was probably produced at that time. This story's tonal range is ideal for a movie adaptation since it is precisely the type of tale that Sleeper was. Tom Cruise, of Mission Impossible and Top Gun fame, and Sam Raimi, who is best known for directing the first three Spider-Man films, were the creative forces behind the film. Ben Affleck and other noteworthy celebrities would ultimately be associated with the project. Given this history, it would appear that the Sleeper film was destined to be a hit in the following significant comic book adaptation. Unfortunately, Sleeper never materialized on the big screen or in any other form outside of comic books, so it never happened. Tom Cruise and others who were purportedly connected with the film have never discussed why it was never realized. Ironically, the movie's premiere coincided with the debut of Iron Man, and this was a superhero role that Cruise was allegedly prepped for before Robert Downey Jr. won it. He didn't get the Wildstorm adaption, which was a shame because it would have been a terrific platform for him. Sleeper also had the potential to be Tom Cruise's best espionage movie. Tom Cruise was ideal for the part of Holden Carver in a Sleeper movie, even if the film was never completed. For starters, Minority Report and the Mission Impossible movies also dealt with comparable themes of espionage, thrills, and character mistrust. The story of Sleeper is, in many respects, a far darker version of Tom Cruise's Ethan Hunt's experiences, going further to show how such a life might wear down on the person living it. The film adaptation of the novel may have altered comic book movies in a manner that Zack Snyder's Watchmen did not by adding the hazy superhero aspects and noir atmosphere. Sleeper could create a tale on its own without needing to be a part of a vast shared world because of its tenuous connections to superheroes and other Wildstorm products. Given the genre a little more tonal diversity, it would have also appealed to viewers outside only those who watch superhero movies and high-budget blockbusters. Without even considering Sam Raimi's involvement, the engagement of a famous star like Tom Cruise would have undoubtedly sealed the picture as a possible hit. Surprisingly, there's still a chance that the movie may be produced. Cruise won't be leaving action films anytime soon, and with the Wildstorm characters being included into James Gunn's rebooted DC Universe, Sleeper may serve as an excellent spin-off film or television series with a more modest scale. It's unlikely, and the plot will probably not be adapted right away. To be sure, Tom Cruise's Sleeper movie would have been far more than merely a sleeper smash if everything had gone according to plan. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.